What's up, y'all? This is DJ Spooky. That's Subliminal Kid. Give- Hi. Thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode 12. I call this story Stinky Get Back. <laughs> you gotta love Stinky Get Back. All right, so this uh, story doesn't involve me per se. This is about another bus driver, as I was telling y'all up at the end of episode 11. Sometimes bus drivers don't gel with the community and everything you put out in the street comes back to you in the street. And that's not just the streets of Portland. That's the streets of Indianapolis. That's the streets of Chicago. That's the streets of, of, of Los Angeles, the streets of New York, that's the streets, that's just the rules, streets universal all around the world, okay? Whatever you put out in the street comes back to you sooner or later, it catches up with you. Well, this story is about a, a, a elderly white man. I say he was elderly because he was about to retire. And he was a very, uh, very easily irritated person. And he had a thing about young people. He was notorious. You couldn't even say his name to them. And then people were letting the new drivers know. And when, even when I came, when they introduced, uh, told us to talk about him, they was like, oh yeah, he hates teenagers. He hates teenagers. He just throws them off the bus for nothing. The bus drivers knew this. The company knew this. People called in and complained. Teenagers have been getting put off his bus for years and he just wouldn't stop because one of the, uh, uh, rules of the buses you don't play music well you didn't have to play music a lot of young people have a a ringtone attached to their text message like every time they get an incoming text message it, it makes a ringtone and if you had a hip-hop ringtone or rock or rap anything young <laughs> basically you know I, I mean like if you had contemporary jazz or opera he wasn't gonna mess with you but if you had like some hip-hop playing and that's what most young people on his on uh right he did this online should i tell them the line yeah he did this on line 19 and uh, at the end of line 19 oh i don't want to get ahead of myself he did this on line 19 and so uh and he wrote the 19 for years and so one night in particular, some teenagers was on the bus and their ringtone uh, went off and he put them off the bus. And I guess they made up in their mind that they was going to get some get back. So they waited till he got to the end of the line where there's nothing but two porta potties, two portable uh, restrooms, you know, the, the, the honey buckets is what they're called. There's a, a company here locally in Portland, Oregon called Honey Bucket. And they put the <laughs> honey bucket out where they got that name from. I don't know. Ain't nothing. It ain't that sweet. It's just a, it's a portable plastic toilet, you know, and with the blue water in it. So anyway, they, and, uh, and, and I remember I did line 19. I remember using that mug because it was, there's nothing else there. There used to be a hut there years ago with running water, but they tore it up or something, and I don't know what happened, and, and so now it's just portable toilets, and, and then there was a convenience store at the end of the 19 route, too, and the bus drivers apparently had really trashed the restroom, you know, just put toilet tissue and, 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 and paper towels and let the water overrun, and it just dirty, and, and garbage overflowed, and water overflowed, and so they messed it up. The convenience store said, no more, no more TriMed. We don't want none of your drivers anymore. Bye-bye. Poof be gone. So there was two porta potties. They waited till he got inside of the porta potty and they, and, they, and they took the padlock. And see, what he did was he took the padlock. I wasn't there. This is what I've been told. He took the, and I used to do it all the time. So I take the padlock off and I take the padlock in the porta potty with me. He took the padlock off and just hooked it onto the hook. 
And so they, when he got in there, and so the some teenagers rushed to came up on the portable pot, porta potty, and they closed it up, and they closed the lock up. They closed the, they closed the, I mean, they 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 took the lock and they closed the 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 latch of the lock up, so he couldn't get out. And then they took the porta potty and they pushed and they pushed and they was ah called him all kind of names. He was in there ah ah and they pushed these ah and they pushed him over. And uh, I hear that he laid on his side, inside that porta potty with blue water all over him and boo boo and. You know, just ah, toilet tissue was uh, streaked all over him. He had blue water on him, and he laid in there for hours before another driver came and heard him and, and let him out. And yo, I hear that he also retired a few weeks after that. You know, there was the incident was that traumatic for him. So, it just like I said, he had, he put those young people off the bus, and he had been doing that for years. You know, and. Uh, he did it to black ones. He did it to white ones. He did it to girls. He did it to you boys. He didn't care if it was 10 o'clock at night and you were just going home or or it was 10 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning and you were going to school. And he didn't care where you was. If your ringtone, you know, played some music, automatically he would put you off the bus if you were a teenager. And so... That's how they got some get back. And it, I hear it was really stinky. Oh, I hear that he was in there for hours. And the, but that, that, that porta potty had been there for a long time and it had been dumped. And that it was really, really stinky. So that's why the story's called Stinky Get Back. <laughs> I got issues, I know. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my story. And I, I'll see y'all on the next one. We're from Wise. Take care. Bye. And subscribe and share the video. Share the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that. It really, really mean a lot to me. I look forward to hearing from y'all. Peace out. Bye.